Hi, this is Nancy from Nancy's Garden Soap Co. And tonight I'm going to be using um, a bubble wrap, bubble wrapped loaf. Now nah, it's a flat mold um, to make a honey blossom soap. And that's where it's going in. I have my lye water here, um, some honey powder dissolved there, fragrance oil here. And there's no colorants in this soap. Um, it's for a customer who needs more. Um, so I'm going to do it up real quick. I did a video on all the prep work that if you're interested in how I mixed up the lye and the oils and stuff like that, um, you can see that on my other videos. Here I have the, uh, lye water that has, uh, dissolved tuss of silk and sea salt in it. I'm going to add that in right there, put that in the sink. And we're going to stick blend. Since I put bubble wrap in the bottom of the um, tray, the soap mold, um, I don't want this to be too thick. I want it to be able to go into the nooks and crannies to look like honeycomb. Right before uh, starting adding, mixing this stuff together, I can't talk tonight. Anyway, right before mixing this stuff, I took the temperature of the lye water. It was about 117, and this, um, the oils were at about 107, or it was vice versa. But they're really close to each other. So um, this looks like it's at a very light trace to me. So I would like to add, um, I'm going to add the honey, powdered honey, um, mixture and also the fragrance oil so I can get them all mixed up. This is a honey blossom fragrance oil. It smells really good. I'm not really a big honey fragrance type person, but I do like this one. It's a little bit gentler or sweeter than some of the strong honey scents that a lot of people like. Alright, let me mix some more. <laughs> Smells good. Okay, thicken me up. Let's move it. Okay. You see that okay? Looks like it. Make sure the bubble wrap's flat. And pour it in. I don't want it to get too tall. I need it to be just the right height um, here. Add a little bit more. I have a backup mold ready. My husband's dying to use this stuff. He likes honey soaps. It's like, oh, I guess I'm not going to get to use any of that because it's for a customer. I'm hoping to make it a little bit extra. Keep the guy happy. All right, let's tap this a little bit. All right, I tapped off camera. Trying to get it all in there. And now I'm going to fold the top over like so and push it down so I can get a nice imprint on the top. Of the honeycomb. This is a fun soap.
All right, that looks pretty good to me. Can you see it all right? All right, and I'll set that aside, and I'm going to use up the rest of it, hopefully in this one right here. Look how thick that's gotten. It's only been a, about a minute. I might stick these in the fridge just to keep them from turning colors. Those are the honey in them. All right. Last one I did did not turn colors, didn't change. I think I might be able to just do this one one half. Check this out. that up there and then fold can you see this fold this side up it's gotten so thick I think I can do this and get away with it and I'll have some backup soaps right there all right um, when we come back I shall unmold and hopefully I'll turn the camera on because I really I can never wait to unmold these things so I'll have it on and you'll be able to see how they look that looks really cool. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, next day, um, I had this one in the freezer and the other one in the fridge. So I'm going to see if I can pull off the uh, the shrink wrap, uh, shrink wrap, the bubble wrap. That looks pretty cool. This is fun. And I'm not sure what we'll do here, but let's try this. Flip it upside down. Up, oh, yep, comes right out because of the bubble wrap. And let's do the back side. Don't like this line right there. Oh, that's all right though. I'll just do it manually. That looks pretty cool. Pretty fun. All right, and I think we got a pretty a decent thickness on that not too huge not, not too incredibly thick all right there's that one I'm gonna be cutting it in a little bit after it thaws some this one was in the fridge and this is probably for home use a little flat section in the middle Let's see if I can pull this up yeah pulls right out all right These, um, the bubbles on this piece of bubble wrap are a little bit bigger and they're a little bit more distinctive here. I need to kind of, these are the ones I like, this kind of um, honeycomb look. If you want to compare the two, <clears throat> and I'll tell you a little trick. For these, for this kind of bubble wrap that, we, that came in a package, that one I hit it with a heat gun to make it bubble up so the, the little bubbles were even more pronounced whereas when I tried that with this one it didn't work quite as well so um, okay I'm gonna be back later with the cuts on these and I just need to let them thaw a little bit and warm up and then I'll do that so I'll see you in a little bit. Well I'm ready to cut this I uh, I took the soap out and I used the end of a spoon to fix some of the little um, bubbles where there was a line of bubbles that were like um, flat or something like that so I fixed that and then I took um, Another soap, measured it, came up with a two and a half inch wide um, size that I wanted, which I think will still make a really nice bar. And I marked it off starting half inch in from either side so that I, this would go a little bit faster. Um, and so what I'm going to do is following the guidelines that I post, paste, stuck here, <clears throat> go straight down over top of the soap, inch my way down, and cut all the way through. So it's a little bit cut right there. Can you see that? It feels really good.
cool looking. Okay, and then the next one. Sometimes I wonder if a hot knife would work for going through here really smoothly. Straight down. Go down here. Let's see if that worked better. That's a little bit better there. It smells great. Time. <clears throat> there we go. All right, now um, this is 11 inches, so half of 11 is five and a half, five and a half, five and a half, right there. Let's try this one at the halfway mark, five and a half inches. Let's see if I'm in frame. Yep. All right, and then this one here, we have more than five and a half. If I do three, it's not enough, so two and three quarters. About there. That looks pretty good. They're not exact, but it's honeycomb. What do you expect? Okay, this one. Um, same idea. Here. Use that to measure. Not bad. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, I'm going to continue cutting these, and I hope you like them, and I hope it was helpful to you. I can clean this up. There we go. A little bit of mush down below. Clean that up, let them cure for a little bit, and I hope you enjoyed watching me make this honey blossom soap, and feel free to hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll try to keep posting some interesting soap making videos. Thanks. Bye.